What's the best boat for you? Whether you desire precision while pulling across the shallowest of flats, the ability to roam a variety of destinations from inshore to offshore, no boundaries while in vast expanses of open ocean, or you just want to create lasting memories with friends and family on the water. Join Florida Sportsman's trusted boating experts as they review the latest and most popular boats, boating accessories, and marine products on the water today. This is Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Today on Florida Sportsman Best Boat, we take a closer look at the Dusky 227V XF Open Fisherman, a perfect platform for anglers that are looking to enter the blue water fishing arena that still require necessary comfort features for family outings, all without breaking the bank. Best Boat host George Labonte checks out a quick, quiet, and economical system to anchor your boat in shallow water from Stay Put Anchor during this week's Marine Product Showcase. And we step aboard an offshore-oriented vessel fit for family adventure that's packed with technology, innovation, and a hull that is renowned for its smooth and efficient ride, the Blackfin 302cc. But first, let's join Best Boat host George Labonte as he explains how watching the weather can lead to a safer day on the water in this week's seminar segment. It's a beautiful day here in South Florida, as you can see, but as we all know, that can change in a hurry. Now weather, no matter where you are, is always in one of three states. And that's stable, like you see here, improving to get to this point, or deteriorating, which is the worst scenario to be involved in if you're out on a boat and the weather turns rough. If you've spent any amount of time boating, you've probably been caught in a situation where the weather turned for the worst and you found yourself up against the wall, but this doesn't have to be the case. One of the things that you can do to circumvent being caught in this predicament is to keep an eye on the weather or to keep a weather eye. Now keeping an eye on the weather is nothing more than being aware of what the forecast conditions are for the day that you're gonna go boating, keeping an eye on what the conditions are at the moment, and trying to get a feel for what the conditions are likely to become before you're through on the water. A couple of ways to do this are, one, obviously leave knowing the forecast, and that's watching it on television, checking the marine forecast on your phone or your computer, and just being aware of the situation when you walk outside your door. A couple of tools to help you keep an eye on the weather and try and predict what it's about to do are, one, using your electronics on your boat, but more importantly, using a phone. If you've got phone apps in your phone and at the ready that allow you to follow the hour-by-hour -hour breakdown of what the weather's supposed to do, and more importantly, a radar screen that shows you the conditions now and preferably conditions what they're going to be in the future. Watching that future cast is going to help you avoid getting caught in a dicey situation. Now, despite your best efforts, you're probably going to get caught every now and then, but taking action in advance is going to ensure that you've got an enjoyable day ahead of you and help you avoid being caught in a very unpleasant situation. When we return, our hosts take a look at a boat crafted with offshore fishing at heart that doesn't leave out the family, the Dusky 227V XF Open Fisherman. This segment brought to you by Suzuki, the ultimate outboard motor. to suzukimarine.com to find a dealer near you. Welcome back to Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Join our hosts as they test the versatility of the Dusky 227V XF Open Fisherman, an easily manageable offshore centered boat that is designed to chase your favorite blue water species with ease. The Dusky 227V XF Open Fisherman has an overall length of 22 feet 7 inches, a beam of 8 feet 2 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 225. With breaking into blue water in mind, she has a draft of 12 inches, a dead rise of 20 degrees, a weight of 3,100 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 60 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts. Today, we're fortunate to be joined by Mike Brown from Dusky Boats, and Mike is a great guy, and Dusky is a great friend to Florida sportsmen. We've known each other for as long as I've been doing this show, and they always bring us something really exciting, Today is no exception. 
We're on the all-new 227 Dusky, and it's a 227V model. They've added a new seating feature up in the front here that's going to work really well for a family. We're going to get boating here, a little, do a little bit of fishing, do a little bit of cruising, and see exactly how well this boat works. The foundation of the 227V from Dusky is the hull that we're sitting on top of. And this is a hull that's been in production for over 40 years. It's a proven design that people have loved for decades, and there's a good reason for that. This boat is an actual red-blooded American center console boat. It's not a hybrid. It's not a cross between this or that or trying to do a lot of different things. This is a center console fishing boat, straight up, pure and simple. And this boat is going to get you offshore on days that you're not even going to believe in a 22-foot center console view. The way this boat handles the water offshore has proven itself for a long time. It's a versatile boat that's going to excel in a couple of different arenas, and you're going to feel really safe inside of it doing anything on the water. Now, the deck layout on the 227V is really simple and functional. The new seating on this model, why they're calling it a V, is this forward seating area here. There's two boxes which can be insulated. Both of them can be insulated, or one or the other, but they offer you the opportunity for dry storage or a fish box. We've got a wet storage compartment below deck right here in the center fore deck, another bigger one in the cockpit deck in the back, and they've kept the whole inside of the boat really open because let's face it, it's a 22 foot boat and you want as much room to move around as you can possibly have. So they're keeping it really clean in here for that reason. Where I'm seated, a forward seat on the console is also a 40 gallon live well and it's holding a ton of bait for us today. That's gonna to be plenty of bait for a day on a boat, offshore, inch or whatever you're gonna do. And other than that, you're just left with a bunch of room to fish in. We just pulled up to the sandbar on the 227V. This is set up so you can go to the sandbar and hang out for the day. Not every day is a fishing day, so it's good to have these family features. What's important to me with my family is seating, storage, and right here at the bow, we have two seats up here with storage underneath. Right where George is sitting is actually our live well. If you're not fishing for the day, that can also be used for storage. Having the sunshade attached to the T-top is great because now you've got two thirds of the boat covered with shade, and that's a really large T-top. Under the T-top, we have our console storage, and in the console, there's plenty of room for a portable head if you choose to have one. And adding more seats to the boat, we have our helm seat, which actually flips up and you've got a little storage unit under that as well. And behind the helm seat, we have another bench seat that's actually foldable, so you can put it away if you're fishing and it's out of the way. But for those cruising sandbar days, it is a bench seat built for two, actually three, because we had the dog on there today, which was great. So if you think about it, you put all those features together on the 227V, you've got a family fishing boat. Lori, as we wrap up our day here on the 227V, it, it can't be understated what a great value this boat is for a family that's looking to get into offshore, inshore lifestyle boating. I mean, when you think about it, this model, the way it sits right here, costs under $70,000 you can buy a boat like this. I mean, there are tiller motor polling skiffs going out the door for that kind of money. And to get into a boat that offers so much to so many people like this, I mean, with this type of quality, and that does so many things, I mean, I just can't even believe how impressed I am with this Dusky. Because it's affordable, you're not sacrificing quality. And that's huge. To have a boat for a young family that you can afford, that is great. And to top it off, George, the boat's pet friendly. When we come back, our host, George Labonte, experiences the advantages of using the efficient shallow water anchoring system from Stay Put Anchor in this week's Marine Product Showcase. This segment brought to you by Bennett, superior by design. 50 years ago, Bennett Marine changed boating forever, inventing the trim tab, helping boaters get on plane faster, reduce bow rise, correct listing, improve efficiency, and increase performance. Over one million systems later, worldwide, we offer durable and dependable trim tabs and hatch lifters for all boat sizes. Your only source for both hydraulic and electric systems. Industry-leading innovation, plus the best warranty and service available. Get Bennett on board and enjoy the ride. Welcome back to Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Join our hosts as they learn how the shallow water anchoring system from Stay Put Anchor can greatly improve your fishing experience during this week's Marine Product Showcase. 
I can't think of a single product that has changed the face of shallow water boating and fishing any more than the use of a shallow water stake anchor. Whether you're fishing or relaxing on the sandbar, being able to stop your boat without having to pull an anchor out and set chain and line is just going to make your day a lot simpler. Today we're going to join Matt from State Put Anchors and have a look at his affordable and simple solution to this problem. Now Matt, why don't you tell me why this has been such a popular product for State Put? Uh, affordability, ease of use, uh, having somebody even uh, as young as six or seven years old being able to anchor a boat is kind of amazing. So when, when you come up, you put the pole into the bottom, put a little pressure on it, and you're anchored. So ease of use is the big one, the second one is affordability. Now, you know, one of the things that I noticed right off the bat is for the gunnel mount, what we're looking at here, you can basically, I guess if you've got access to the bottom side of the mount, you can put this anywhere on the boat so you could conceivably have two on the bow and two on the back just like those tug uh, barge setups have and really stop the boat in its tracks where you're sitting. Absolutely. Uh, as long as you get through bolt it from underneath, that's the most important part. Okay, now I've also noticed your product on boats that have a motorized stake anchor too, where they've got one in the back, but they also add one in the front. Why would you do that? Uh, so that way you could actually have really tight boat control. You could pivot however you want, set the boat however you want. Um, so that you really just have a, a versatility of anchoring options when you want to position your boat the exact way you want it. Okay, well there's two more options on the back of the boat. Why don't we have a look at those? Sure. All right, Matt. We've established that the deck mount on the front allows you to mount these anywhere on the gunnel where you've got access to the bottom of it to put your bolts on and backing stuff if you need it. Tell me a little bit about why we need a couple of them on the transom. So, lock the back of the boat in place. When you're pivoting on the front, this is gonna lock the back of the boat into that perfect position that you want. So we have a couple different options here for the back. Uh, we'll start with, on your side here with the, uh, with, with the motor bracket. This is a very, very easy, uh, less obtrusive way to anchor and to install. So this goes right on top of uh, any outboard motor. We, uh, we go up to about 150 or 200 just because the cowling size you'll see here. Um, you don't want anything, anything bigger because this will, this will start to rub. This will, this will take about 10 minutes to, uh, to install. You just take the nuts and the washers off, put it right back over, crank it back down. I see that. Okay, so no holes need to be drilled. I mean, you're using the existing pattern right there, so that's pretty simple. It doesn't get any easier than that. Exactly. All right, now on the other side, we're mounted to the actual transom. Yeah, so this is our classic stern mount. So this gives you a little bit more versatility if you have a pulling platform in the way or just something that that's just not gonna work for you. This one, you get you, you got a little bit more room to, to play with. Yes, you do have to mount it directly to the boat. This is, this is more of a permanent mounting solution. Well, Matt, it's a nice day and we've got a couple fishing rods here. What do you say we hit this flat and maybe try and catch a fish and you can show me what these poles are all about on the flat. I like the way you think. Okay, Matt, we're stuck. Right off the bat, a couple things come to mind here. I'm looking at this pole and it's got a pretty significant bend in it. Is that how this is supposed to look? Yeah, that's exactly it. That's exactly how it's designed to be. So with that concept and this situation we're in right now, that pole is bending a lot and what it's doing, it's applying pressure down on the bottom and holding us versus not having the bracket just being staked out. That pole is just gonna tip over. There's nothing to really keep that vertical support. That little bit of flex, definitely, it's like a like a cushion built into it too, huh? Big time, big spring. Now, obviously, we're on a fishing boat here, but another thing that I noticed right off the bat too is, you know, we're adjacent to the sandbar where there's a lot of people hanging out, and this isn't limited to fishing boats. It would be just as useful, if not more so, for people that are just going to the sandbar to hang out and, and relax. We get that call all the time. So <laughs> pontoon boats, uh, pleasure boats, uh, bay boats, skiffs, uh, anything up to about you know, 22 feet in length. That's where we want to kind of stay within this uh, threshold for, for the, the, the limits of this style of an anchor. Okay, Matt, tell me about the handle design. Now, I noticed it was a lot easier pushing the stake into the sand here with that handle. So basically what we try to do with these handles is make it a little bit more than just a shallow water anchor. So we integrated a boat hook into it, an eye, and made it a nice wide footprint shape. So then that way, you, you, when you're making quick boat adjustments, you can push along the bottom and get that out. Um, now, one key feature too is it's removable. So this unscrews, 
very, very easily. And that'll allow you to put the two foot extension and the four foot extension in and put this handle all the way up at the end. So now you either have an eight foot or a 12 foot if you're on the, wa on the, on the water. Well, Matt, I appreciate you showing us what you've got here. I mean, I can see the usefulness of this product for a paddleboard, kayak, flats boat, bay boat, whatever. I mean, right on up the line. If you're looking for a simple, really easy to use and affordable system to get you anchored up in shallow water, the stay put shallow water anchors are definitely worth a look. When we come back, our hosts step aboard a boat with loads of innovation, the Blackfin 302cc. This segment brought to you by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. Your time on the water is precious. You return season after season to make unforgettable memories, fight a few fish, reconnect with friends, and recenter yourself. If you count on having this time, you need an outboard you can count on to power it. That's why boaters stay with Yamaha for the long run, for life. They know reliability starts here. Welcome back to Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Join us as Best Boat host George Labonte learns how modern technology like thermal imaging and radar can aid in safer marine navigation in this week's seminar segment. We're joined today by Paul Mickley from CED Marine, wholesale electronics experts. Paul, I've done a lot of running offshore at night and I've spent hours in the darkness concerned about something that was coming up on my path that I was about to hit. Now radar is a useful tool to see things above the water, but my bigger fear is always something that was partially submerged or even right at the surface. Tell us how using a FLIR unit in conjunction with a radar is going to alleviate those fears. Absolutely. So to your point, the radar is going to get you a lot more distance. You're going to see what you're coming up to. That FLIR camera with night vision, thermal vision, is actually going to give you a better real picture. So you're going to see the bridge pilings, you're going to see a channel marker, you're going to see another boat. So it's a lot easier to interpret. But to your point, as far as something on the water, the radar will pick up a bigger item and it can pick up crab pots, but that log that's floating up and down at nighttime, when you have that flare aim, then this one will tilt and turn, you can tilt that to the top of the water and actually see that log in the water and make it a safer trip to where you're going. Now, let's join our hosts as they adventure out on the Blackfin 302cc, a center console with plenty of comfort features, innovation, and a whole design to conquer blue water. The Blackfin 302cc has an overall length of 32 feet 8 inches, a beam of 10 feet, and a max horsepower rating of 800. Engineered for peace of mind on open water, she has a draft of 20 inches, a dead rise of 23 degrees, a dry weight of 9,000 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 240 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts. Today we're looking at the 302cc from Blackfin. Now, this boat is designed to go offshore fishing, and she's also meant to come up to the sandbar. There's tons of options here to do both. And the best part about these options is they're standard with the boat. Now, I can't wait to get offshore with my friends, but I'm gonna go pick some people up here, and we're gonna show you what this boat can do. George, I think we got enough bait to start our day today. You know, Lori, we got to talk about the fishing setup on this Blackfin 302 center console. The cockpit is set up like a traditional sport fish boat would be set up. This boat has outriggers. We can fish, outrigger fish in the back and either live bait or troll from the back. And everything's happening back here. Now the 302 center console has two 54 gallon uh, fish boxes in the deck, which is handy. It's a nice place to have them. You don't have to bring a fish on a gaff to a separate part of the boat. We've also got a 30 gallon aquarium view live well, which you love. And this is plenty of live well to hold the amount of bait that we've got today. This boat has got an optional mezzanine seat, which is great for watching the baits. And if you're sitting back here looking at your spread, what better place to do it? They've also incorporated a slide out cooler underneath it. Now that's an option on the boat. It comes standard with a tackle station and a rigging area back here as well. Now this isn't the only fishing area on the boat. You can also fish from the front of the boat. There's been a few cobias on the beach. Why don't we take a walk up there and I'll show you about this casting deck. The forward casting deck brings a whole different element to your fishing game. Why don't we walk up there? Let's go, George. Okay, join me on this casting deck. Why is a casting deck so important on a boat? You want some elevation. And adding this centerpiece to the forward seating area turns this into an elevated casting deck. And if you're up here in the front, you're more likely than not sight fishing. 
This deck raised up like that increases your ability to see fish immeasurably. This is going to be a home run for you right here. Now we just came in from offshore and the wind's coming up. We ran through quite a bit of chop here to get here and we're getting ready to get hit by some hard South Florida thunderstorms. And that's when I'm gonna really have an opportunity to appreciate the helm area on this boat. The three-sided glass enclosure here is gonna protect me from the rain that we're invariably gonna run into before the day's over. The hard top is oversized. It's gonna give us a lot of protection from the water coming down. But more importantly, the helm experience here, all my instrumentation is right here, easy to see, switches, easy to get to without taking my eyes off of the water. Now another noteworthy feature is the Michael Peters double step hull design on this model. We're experiencing 1.4 mile per gallon efficiency at cruising speed and this boat's got a pair of 300s on it. You can add up to twin 400s. I can't imagine why you need it because this boat gets up and goes with the 300s. Up here at the bow we have a standard windless anchor. Now we all know how great that is and to have it standard is even better. Now, what really impresses me up here at the bow is that we have a 10-foot beam, and it really shows up here. The width of this seating area is fantastic, but my favorite part, let's see, right over here. Check out how easy this is. That is great for the family, kids, for getting in and out of compartments. Say you want to set up lunch, you can insert a table right here to have booth-style seating. Take that away there's a filler cushion and now you have a layout sun deck. It's great to be able to change it up for the activity for the day. These backrests are super convenient when sitting up here at the bow, but when you don't want to use them and say open this up for more of a fishing platform, they easily pull out. You put it right here, it goes into the gunnel. It's out of the way. Up here in front of the console, we have a seat for two with folding armrest. The easy latch system, again, to get into the cooler. This is a great location and that latch, phenomenal. Inside the console, let's open up this fantastic door here that just slides right open. You have a fresh water head. Now the storage in here, plenty of room to stow your cushions, the front table for the bow. This is a perfect amount of space on a 30 foot center console. Let's take a look at this transom. First thing I notice is how wide it is. You've got plenty of room to walk back and forth, and if you have to get to your motors for whatever reason, you're not cramped. This is a great idea. Let's look at this ladder. It is closed away, but what I've noticed is the ladder is actually facing out towards the water and not hanging right here by the motor. That is a huge safety factor. The Blackfin 302cc, with all those options, you've got your fisherman covered, your family man covered, and that just equals a whole lot of fun. Make sure to join us next week on Florida Sportsman Best Boat as we take a look at the Tarpon 19, lithium battery technology from Lithium Pro, and the Contender 44CB.